Hello, hello, my creative friends. I hope you're ready for another mixed media art tag tutorial because I'm totally hooked on creating them. I've got so many now already, but this is, I think, the second or third one that I've made or filmed at least. So you can take a look at what my process is. So I'm starting with a little bit of leftover purple paint on this tag and continuing adding some color with a bit of lime green and turquoise, really luscious colors and the wave stencils. So don't worry, um, all the supplies are listed on the blog post and where to buy them as well. So I'll put all those details in there. So I'm continuing adding some colors and creating colorful background with a bit of yellow and a bit of pink as well. And of course, a little bit of that uh, purpley blue color that I love so much. And now I'm adding some collage elements using some Tim Holtz tissue paper. I can't quite remember what this one is called, but it's quite nice to add a little bit of um, sort of subtle writing in the background. And I'm just using an old plastic card and some gel medium to glue it all together. I'm now adding a little bit of paint on those collage elements just to make them blend in a little bit with the background. And now I'm going to glue a, lit, a few more bits of paper. These are bits from a napkin with the same process as before and just going more around the edges just to add some really cool interest here. back to my little uh, box of papers here. I'm just looking for something to use in the foreground. So I'm cutting out my bird here, which is already made from a previous mixed media paintings. So that's pretty convenient, I think, especially when you are a little bit in a hurry and don't want to do something um, too involved. And I'm trying to fussy cut the wings here just so it look a little bit prettier on my tag. And I'm going to glue my bird again with some gel medium. I'm now looking for a way to add um, a little bit of more highlight and shadow around my bird. So I'm using a black intense pencil. You could also just as well use a Neo Color 2 crayon, that'd be perfect. And a little bit of water just to dilute the ink and make it into a nice little shadow. Just to make my tag feel a bit more cohesive, I'm going to reuse that piece of paper I cut my bird out of and I'm using a hole punch which is not behaving quite well, I think it's a little bit blunt now, but I'm still using it to cut out some circles um, that I'm going to again glue on, on my tag with some gel medium. I'm going to use um, the full circles and also the surrounds just to add some really cool interest in there. I'm now going to use a little bit more color just to make um, to bring everything together and I'm going to use the same colors or at least similar colors to what I had in the background just so it doesn't go too crazy on there because it's already quite colorful. Now 
I want to add a bit more texture but something subtle so I'm going to use some black ink and uh, a chicken the actually it's a reverse chicken wire stencil and I really highly recommend using a finger dauber because it's just perfect way to get a very crisp um, impression with ink so this is what I'm doing and just adding a little bit around the bird not everywhere so it's not over the top and I'm using my ink pad just to add a very subtle black border all the way around this is going to frame it really nicely And I'm finishing off with a beautiful metallic copper just to add a little subtle touches here and there that will catch the light. Looks really beautiful even though you can't see that much here on camera but it's really lovely and it's a change from the gold that I use all the time. So here's a bit of a close-up so you can see. I hope that you've enjoyed this little tag tutorial. Make sure to visit me and to check my new secret stash book available on Amazon and my website and I'll see you very very soon. Bye!